All right, you ready? Shim. <laughs> Go. MP Managing and Production here with... Shadows We Hide Behind. So, how'd you guys get the name? Well, I came up with it. It was generally the idea that everybody has something to hide. Everybody hides, either has something to hide or hides behind something. So that's generally what I, how I came up with the name. And I take it you guys like to drink a lot since you guys have beers in the interview. <laughs> yes, we do. Hey, kind of. Love it. Love not, it. not really. <laughs> it's expensive, but we love it. <laughs> so when someone comes out to see you guys for the first time, what should they be expecting? Some fucking metal. No, soft metal or hard metal? Hard metal. Hey, it's actually, we want a mixture of Yeah, it's a really. decent mixture of the two. I mean, you got Jared's pretty voice on there. So you're a pretty boy in the group? I guess so. He is a pretty boy. <laughs> well, me and Josh, me and Josh the are the divas. What are you talking about? Two hours in front of the mirror. Before you leave, you kind of get classified as the diva. I know this yeah, well, is really out of nowhere. This is just brought up right now. Did someone bite you? <laughs> it looks like a bite mark. <laughs> hey, look at her over there. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably smirking. I spend two hours in front of the mirror, he spends two hours in front of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so what did your guys sound like? Like if someone's listening to you for the first time, what would they be like seeing influenced by you guys? Or you guys have your own kind of sound that you guys want to play? Uh, honestly, I think it would be like really, it's really heavy, like um, 2007, 2008 uh, metalcore kind of kind of stuff. And as far Anybody as, else? As far as like... Cleans go. I mean, it's it's really honestly hard to say. I get asked that question a lot just by random people, and they're like, oh, "I'm like, oh, you're in a band. What do you play? Like, what do you?" I'm like, "I play the guitar. I mean, what kind of music do you play?" I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no, to be honest with you, lately, lately, I think we've been taking most of our clean vocals from newer hardcore bands, Issues, Crowdy Empire, newer metalcore bands like that. Yeah, newer bands that kind of have that the heavy. Verses yeah. and then the more melodic chorus. Yeah. 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 TJ's been doing a lot more like yelling screams instead of like growl stuff. And eating. And eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Big men unite. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me think. I see you have tattoos. Does anybody else in the group have tattoos? Or are you just Billy, I got one. He is a fucking yeah, bat. He's a big fish. mouse bat. Me and Billy only two with tattoos. I have uh, I have one, but I don't even fucking count it. It's like I did it myself when I was sixteen with a, <laughs> <laughs> with a gel pen got and it. a needle. <laughs> I definitely the most. I definitely got most of the tattoos. So, yeah, for sure. Like, do you guys have anything coming up lately that people should check out, like any EPs or anything like that? We got it. Uh, we just got it out of the studio recording our the first half of our first album. So we're gonna so be like a real full length album, or just yeah, like we're gonna have them, like, 12, 12, 13 songs, songs on it. Yeah. So we're gonna be going music. back in next month and finishing it up. Probably about late October or something. We'll be releasing it. We will. Yeah. 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 Recorded a while back and had a five song EP. And uh, eight we, song EP. Was it eight? Yeah. No, eight no we had the we had the five. <laughs> we had the five, and then we went back in 2013 and did three more. So and we had two then. EPs and that's on show. Two EPs, and then we took, we took four of those old songs and went back in the studio recently and re redid them, and then we uh, wrote three more songs. And uh, we're currently still just pushing them out and we're gonna just have an album ready for this upcoming two months. So, it's like more of a personal thing for you guys to tell your fans. Who's the most goofiest of the group? The one that keeps all together and then just that, that is the hardest question. I would say <laughs> either, honestly, I would say either me or Jared. <laughs> goofiest. Goofiest? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. Us together is a complete disaster. <laughs> so I guess who's the one that keeps you guys all together? Because you guys are a goofy group. So. Billy. 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 When he's yeah, not yeah, drunk, he's not drunk. drunk. sober. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the backbone right here. Yeah. Books all the shows, does most of the Third managing and shit. After that, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> so, is there anything you guys would want anybody watching right now to really know about the band, I guess? Because, like, you know how sometimes fans go up to bands and they get really scared and then they walk away and then they come back and walk away? Like, should people feel nervous when they first meet you? Oh, no, 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 no. no. We, we get along with pretty much everyone and we're pretty friendly, so. You know, it's it's why why be rude and mean, you know? Yeah, if people like you enough to want to come talk to you, why be mean back? There's the people that support your success, you know? Exactly. You know, a lot yeah. of fucking 
be rude and shit. Especially other bands. I mean, you know what they're going through. You know what they're dealing with. You know what they go through. And you're like, fuck, this is hard. <laughs> yeah, man, this, this is a lot of work. So you, you appreciate that more. And you appreciate the people who do it. So, so what did you guys feel about this place? How was your experience playing here? I love it. We, yeah, we've had some shows here. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a really nice venue. I like the like the atmosphere, like like the setup. The bands we've played with, they stick around, they watch all the other bands. Yeah, there's a, a decent bit of solidarity there. It's, it's nice. I like it. Alright, well, make sure to go run their next shows and make sure to check these guys on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching.